everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Attributes SMP where today we have a few things to go over. So first of all, the reason that I haven't been uploading much is because this server has been 10 times more active than I would have ever expected it could have been. I just, I'm, just, I'm the only moderator on this server, okay? I can't keep up. I can't moderate the server and make videos. It's too much. And so as you might notice... There's been a lot of things that have happened in between this episode and last. And I could make an entire video dedicated to catching up on everything that's happened on the server. Or you can pause the video right now and just read the news board. I'll wait, alright? This, this is a pre-recorded video. I got all day. Now, one of the bullet points you may notice is here, Zaxel moves to the end. Now, I don't actually think I actually explained where it was I was living in the last couple of episodes. So, in episode one, we built this community house, and the idea behind this is that it's a very simple build where people can hang out and have fun, as well as, like, if you die, you have, like, shelter to hide from mobs and whatnot. And so that's what this is doing here, but that's not actually a base. Now, the place that I've been living for the majority of the servers so far is right through here. The Woodland Mansion. Now, this mansion was found in the first couple of days back when Doge was still on the server. And I kind of moved into this mansion. I've just kind of been living in here. But the thing that I didn't realize at the time was that Candy was already living here. I mean, granted, she hadn't moved any of her stuff in. So it was still technically still up for grabs. Yeah, I didn't realize that Candy had already been planning to live here. And I had already moved in. So I paid her a bunch of diamonds to move out. And then she just kind of didn't. And then I, I honestly just didn't have the heart to kick her out. So I just I decided, you know what? I'm just going to move to the end of a whole dimension of myself. Because nobody else wants to live in the end, okay? Like, why would anybody want to live there? It's the most barren place in the entire Minecraft world. It's great. I'll have all the privacy I want. And then Candy immediately told me that she was planning on moving to the end. Now the whole thing is invalid. Nonchalantly fly to the end portal. Cut this part out of the video. Oh, wait. Also, also, before I forget, we have these fancy banners now. It, it's very fancy. Looks so cool. Anyway, I, I should I should go back to making the video. This is the part of the video where I tell you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can get free clout. So the thing is with the end is, unlike the nether where you can't place water or do much of anything, there's not actually any code that stops you from doing something in the end that you can't already do in the overworld as long as you're willing to move all the entities and resources over to the end. Oh, but Zaxel thing, if that's the case, why does nobody ever build a base in the end? I mean, it's, it's the end of the game, you know? Wouldn't it be like so cool to build like a moon or something out there and the reason for that is so since the end is literally surrounded by an endless void that kills anyone who falls down it's kind of a dangerous place to live especially if you have like full netherite and then you just walk off the map okay it's not it's not fun well, luckily for me this is not any ordinary minecraft server where you where you can just walk off the map and die instantly this is an origins smp all right i don't know i'm, I'm assuming you all know that already why does this matter well I can fly. So for me and me specifically, falling into the void is actually like not a threat. Like as long as I'm not straight up AFK, the void is just not dangerous. And so I've, al I've actually already been preparing quite a bit as you're about to see. You know how when you kill the Ender Dragon, you get this nice end gateway thingy that takes you out and you can go get Elytra? Well, as it turns out, if you kill the Ender Dragon multiple times, another one will spawn. And you can keep on doing this until you have a full ring of end gateways around the entire end. But unfortunately, that's that's not all we have to do. There's still more work to be done before we can build our base. The second thing we need to do is, you might see this outline here, is we actually need to shave away all the end stone that is on the outside of this kind of uh, bedrock ring, simply because I want a very organic shape, but I also want it to fit inside the ring of end gateways. And don't get me wrong, I can mine end stone, okay? It has been... Things have been going busy on this server. Like, I've not been making videos because I've been doing admin stuff, but I have been grinding through the base progression of the game, okay? I ha I have the max tools. I have the overly expensive maxed out armor. I have a total of 5.19 real life days on this server of raw playtime. And I'm gonna be honest here, three quarters of that time was literally just grinding armor and stuff. It has been... We have been working hard on this server, gathering resources and making sure we have all the gear necessary to go and do the things that we want to do. Even so, that is a crazy amount of end stone to have to mine out by hand. And so that's why I need to go out and get a beacon. You guys are going to need some context for the clips that I'm about to show you. So I'm going to I'm going to start explaining that as I go around hunting wither skeletons. So a new member of the server named Spirit has recently joined the game. And a few weeks ago, he was looking to get himself some diamonds. 
and he decided that instead of mining for diamonds like a normal person, he was going to come ask me for some diamonds. But since he had literally just joined the server like the day before, he didn't really have any way of paying me back for you no know, diamonds and stuff. And normally this would be a big problem, but luckily I watch Hermitcraft. Now Hermitcraft is probably just about the most famous YouTuber SMP out there. And the way the server operates is instead of rules, the quote unquote hermits of the server have a variety of unspoken agreements that they just kind of obey. And one of these unspoken agreements is about something called an IOU. You'll see every now and again in the server when a hermit can't pay for something or when they need a favor done, sometimes they will hand each other a piece of paper that says IOU followed by their name. And essentially what an IOU is, is it's a favor that can be named later. So hermits will hang on to these IOUs for sometimes very long times, even the entire season. And then one day when the hermit comes back and returns that IOU paper to the person who made it, that person then has to do whatever favor they're being asked to do. And it's a very dangerous thing on the server to hand out, and so it doesn't happen very often, but you do see it happen from time to time. And once I explained the system to him, he was actually very on board with it. He gave me an IOU, I gave him some diamonds, we were all very happy. A few weeks later, he decided that he really wanted a trident. Now, why did he want a trident? Really, it's anyone's guess. I have no idea, because his origin actually makes him weak to water, so he can't even use a trident, and a bow is a much more effective ranged weapon anyways. And there are currently two people on the server who are known for using tridents. One of those people is me actually, and the reason for that is, as I've explained, this is an origin server, and my origin gives me the ability to essentially turn into smoke and fly around through the air. But as you can probably tell, this isn't like an elytra flight, nor is it like creative mode, because what the game is doing is it's actually giving me the power to swim through air. And so because of that, when I use a Riptide Trident, the game thinks I'm underwater, allowing me to fly around with a trident really quickly in any biome at any time I desire, essentially allowing me to move five times faster than I would otherwise. And so because of this, I'm very much so known on the server for using tridents. However, also because of this, Spirit knew that I was never going to be willing to part with my trident. It's just too important to me. It's the most valuable tool I have. I wasn't going to give it to him, and he knew that. And so he went to the other member of the server who was known to have a trident, Kaka Finn. But once again, Spirit had no way of paying Finn for the trident. And an IOU simply wasn't going to cut it, because tridents are very difficult to get at this stage in the game, and Finn uses his quite a lot. And so he had a quote-unquote brilliant idea. Because he was able to get some diamonds for an IOU, what if he took it a bit further and sold his literal soul? I am not joking. This man sold his soul for a trident that he can't even use. Now, I'm saying he sold his soul, but what that basically means is there is this signed book on the server that essentially means whoever holds it, specifically Finn, can basically call in as many favors as they want. Essentially, he has to do whatever Finn says for the rest of his time on the server until the book is destroyed. And he was very unhappy about this arrangement because, like I said, A, he can't even use the trident, and B, once again, this is not something that a trident was worth, okay? A trident is valuable, but it's not that valuable, okay? Like, he basically had to be this guy's servant for the entire server, and that's just, that's a lot of work, okay? And he was especially unhappy as literally the next day, he went exploring in the nether and died with all his stuff, including the trident for which he, what? That was weird. Including the trident he sold his soul for. And so now he is desperately trying to undo this contract and get his uh, soul back so that he doesn't have to do what Finn says anymore. And that leads us to the clip that I'm about to show you. So for how much can I buy Spirit from you? Good question, good question. Uh... Roughly what would you say uh... his soul is worth? <laughs> not that much. <laughs> yeah, not that much. Let's see what pocket change I have. <laughs> but when we go back into the call with him, we have to not. We have to tell him that you like turned me down and that you yeah, still yeah, own yeah, him. Yeah. We just have to not tell him. <laughs> the hell it takes him I'm to gonna wait out. until he gives me all the emeralds for the beacons. And then You're gonna wait him. until you, <laughs> he comes to you with like. 50 stacks of emerald blocks and then be like oh yeah by the way i haven't owned your soul for like a week <laughs> yes like how much how much is a reasonable price do you think how how much do you think i'm thinking 20 diamonds and about a stack of blaze rods 
point. That's 49 blaze rods. I don't have a full stack yet. I have five stacks of diamonds. I don't. All right. <laughs> Dude, why are you so rich? All right. How about 22 diamonds and another right scrap? Throw in a thorns three book and uh, deal. All right. I've got 22 diamonds, a netherite scrap, and a thorns three book. And here you go. Oh, hey. Oh, Christ. <laughs> okay, so how'd it go? We didn't really get I'm not rich enough. to. Uh, I can't afford uh, you. Yeah. I don't have enough Shucks, diamonds. Come on. I don't have enough diamonds, man. I'm poor. Go mining, god damn it. Get my fing soul. Why? What, what do I get? Oh, I guess your soul. That's fair. You know what? No, I'm quietly like making the emeralds needed to buy myself back. Yeah, I did the math. It's 128 stacks. You're building the damn beacons yourself. All you tell me to do was to That's get the true. emeralds. You didn't say max beacons. So it's only nine blocks of beacon, which is 81 I, per I beacon. I did say max beacons. Are you kidding me? 50. Yes, you did not specify max beacons. I have enough. Give my damn soul back. Sorry, man. I, I upped the price to full beacons. Nope. Nope, I, can't do that after I got- You cannot do that after I have enough to actually you? do it. I can absolutely me, do that. Me, you have no rights towards me. Hey, Zax, me and Squid ah. have been working together because I messaged Squid. That's why I left the call with Finn earlier. Look in this chest. That's how many emeralds me and Squid have put together. Squid, Hello. he he said beacons. He didn't say maxed out. We have enough. We have enough. Yeah. Doesn't matter. You don't have rights. I have. I still own your soul. I have to. I. I mean, I have rights, but I do have power to take you with me to court. I'll, I'll pull. I'll pull a flame. <laughs> I will pull. I'm pulling a flame and echo. Get your butt to the community house and uh in the courtroom. <laughs> okay. Your Honor, Cockafin has my soul. Yeah. I asked him. Mm -hmm. I asked him what, how many emerald blocks it would take to get my soul back. He said fifty beacons. Quote beacons, mm -hmm. not maxed. You have video footage of this? No, but I do. I did message Squid. He is my he is my witness. I messaged Squid because I, I told him that and we called. Squid, can you confirm this? Yes, but I did tell him to record it, but he didn't record it. Bro. Yeah, I forgot to I forgot to, I forgot to hit record. I just pulled out stream left. I forgot to hit record. This is why you listen to your lawyer. Cur currently, Your Honor, we, we almost have an entire double chest filled with emeralds. Yeah. Me and Squid have put together things, and I will repay Squid for it whenever he needs me to. What's the problem, Finn? The problem I'm having is fifth enough to make a fifth a fifty. Yeah, fifty beacons with emeralds without the beacons. Can you can you not use really... your mic? I can't hear anything, and the viewers are like leaving the video in gro in droves. <laughs> My audience uh, retention rate just went down to sixteen percent. Okay, you need to talk more clearly. <laughs> I said fifty emerald beacons. Right. I said okay. apparently I uh, forgot to uh, include the part about maxed out beacons, but still. The enough, uh, the amount of emeralds is there, but the amount of beacons itself are, they are not there. But so what you're yeah. saying is that you've raised your price. What I'm saying is he hasn't met the criteria he proposes himself. He's my pet. Excuse oh, me. Geez. Um, I, I don't like that derogatory term, sir. <laughs> okay, sorry. Minion with no rights, uh, an unpaid minion with no rights. Mandatory volunteer. Y y your honor, your honor. Uh, the not he he said he didn't mention maxed out. He can't change the price once I said yes to the beat of the emerald. Party? No. Wait, one second. Let me no. check the terms of the contract. Wait, you have my soul. <laughs> what the hell? Give me my soul, Zags. Come I, on. I, 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 we, I did buy it from him. I lied. <laughs> He lied. Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> Wait, no! No, the soul's still over there! No! Zax, oh, dude. You had my soul. This yeah, entire you, time. Yeah, and then you guys stabbed me, and now Flame has it. In my opinion, I did not stab you. I was in my seat. My lawyer stabbed you. You have to do it. Zax said so. <laughs> right, Zax. I, believe it or not, since Zach, Spirit, you, you actually you came up with this with whole him. system, I'm actually gonna hold you to it and say you have to do whatever he says until that book is burned. Actually, yes. that book has Finn's signature in it. 
not his. Actually, that's true. Read out the exact words, because we were supposed to read that. The book says, Spirit Blade is Kakafin's permanent slave with no right towards Kakafin. <laughs> it will do as he says, and do Minecraft chores for him in his bid and include in murder. Oh, so it says, it does Kaka say Kakafin specifically, not the holder of the book. Ben, okay, if you get so... the book back, you have to give it to Zex, because he bought it off of you. No, it, it actually doesn't matter, because the thing is here... The book specifically says Kaka Finn, so regardless of who owns the book, Kaka Finn is the one who owns Spirit until the book is burned, regardless of who's holding the book. Okay, Spirit. Except, I, I, I'm, except the I'm, Emeralds, I'm sorry. About it's, it's, it's three shulker boxes th from, uh, of stuff from Finn. The reason why I'm not going to do this and not going to burn it for you is because all the terrible things you have done to me on the server. Hey, Flame, do you currently have the... Uh... Wait, Flame, can you actually come with me real quick? So, Flame, you still have the book, right? Yeah. I have this thing that I got from you at some point. And, uh, I'd like the book. Wait, what? Did, what? I'd like no, the book. No, because y'all killed me. With it. No, I didn't make a deal with it, though. Doesn't you matter how I got me, it. I got it from I you. No, 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 you I'd didn't. I like the book. You literally killed me for it. To be fair, no, to be fair, it doesn't actually give, the book doesn't even give you any power. I'm mostly just using it so I can bribe, uh, so I can bribe spirit later. This isn't actually, you're not losing have, any power here. I have no choice. Yeah, no, actually, no. actually, Flame here, I have, I have, I have, I have an ender chest right here. Zax, spirit, what's going on? Eric, you got lucky. Zax owns this book contract. I, I didn't even- Yes! I have. <laughs> I, I just, no, why Squid, are you, you celebrated? Don't, Squid, Squid, you don't understand. I paid him half of the emeralds to get the soul back. I'm paying him the other half to buy it off of him now. Yes. Actually, Wait, uh, Spirit, can you actually meet spirit. me in the end? Uh, sure. So, I have- I don't know why Flame's here, but I currently am gonna decide what's gonna happen to Spirit's soul moving forward. So I need to know, like, what are you offering me to give it to you, and what are you offering me to burn it? I will offer you- I will offer you everything in my inventory right now. I'll give you this shulker box fi filled with, uh, good armor and stuff. Four netherite ingots. Oh yeah. Two enchanted golden I apples. So, I actually have a proposition here because I'm gonna be honest, there's no way that you can feasibly actually outbid Finn. He is very rich. So there there is one thing you can do to outbid Finn. If you come come with me. Finn currently owns your soul, regardless of who holds the book, and you don't like that because he forces you to do a lot of stuff, right? So there, there's only really yeah, he is super rich. It's very hard to outbid him, but there is there is one way that you can outbid him and make it so that Finn no longer owns your soul. I can burn the book, and then instead of him owning your soul, I would. It's embarrassing to be the king of hell and have someone else own your soul! <laughs> hey, uh, aren't I ruling oh, the end? I mean, we need to stick together, us us rulers of dimensions, you know? Yeah, but if you have your soul, my soul belongs to you! Exactly, and as you've said, that's a much better exchange than Finn, because I'm not gonna abuse that as often, you know that, you know me. Okay, how about this? Uh, you know who's lying? <laughs> Move. Move. <laughs> I, I have I have another part for you, please. Oh, I'll accept I'll accept those terms as long as I have your soul, so it's equal. So it's like, it's like we're both that free. Not, that's not how it mm. works. That's not. Well, how what were you works. offering me again, well, Finn? How, where's the under chest? Uh, there was four hey. ingots, two enchanted golden apples, uh, almost a stack of diamonds. Yeah, uh, this whole yeah uh, culture box filled filled with good eye. Uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Good tools and armor. And, uh, I think five or- five or four totems of undying. And a stack of gunpowder, a almost maxed out hoe, pickaxe, and infinite free serve- uh, infinite free refills on the enchants. Zach, you see, you please. see why it's hard to outbid him. You see Zach, how rich come this on. man is. <laughs> That's not <laughs> even <laughs> half of my stuff. I'm gonna be honest here, Spirit. You're, this is what you get for like selling your soul for a trident. You're stuck between two Don't evils. You, Who do you Zex. want to own your soul? Because <laughs> like with Finn, he's actively admitting that he wants you to be his like constant slave. But I mean, what's a favor between friends, right, Spirit? I will accept those terms if I can burn the book. Sun Tzu said, "Appear strong when you are weak, and weak when you are strong. When you have something valuable, do not boast about it. Do not." Lord such power over your enemies. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Let them forget. 
For good things come to those who wait, who buy their time so that one day its value may increase tenfold. For there are many types of monsters in this world. There are beasts that would tear you limb from limb. There are premonitions that would haunt your nightmares. There are even demons that would wish to eat your very soul. But the most dangerous monster of all is the trustworthy kind. The kind of monster who cares for you, who helps you through your worst failures, who stands beside you on your greatest victories. Sometimes it can prove quite difficult to recognize the monster monster. It may eat, though it cannot feel hunger. It may laugh, though it cannot feel joy. It may cry, though it cannot feel pain. It may smile. But that's just the thing about smiles, isn't it? You never really know what lies underneath. What, what lurks in the shadows, what, what whispers in the dark, dark. what flickers in the corner of your eye. But who could blame you really for falling prey to such a monster? After all, better to trust the devil you know, right?